Hey, it's Alex from Android Central with the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So as we know, this is a very big handset, 5.7 inch screen, and because of that, it's not always easy to reach across with your thumb. To get around this issue, previous notes have had these one-handed software controls, so you can move the keyboard to one side, do the same with the dialer, um, unlock controls, and you can switch between sides depending on whether you're left or right-handed. None of that's new, but we do have a new option on the Note 3 right at the top here. This is called Use for All Screens, and what it lets you do is effectively shrink the entire display down to a little movable window using this arrow gesture at the side of the screen. So perform the gesture and the window pops in whichever side you do it. And you can pop back into the full screen view as well. You also get these little virtual buttons down below. We've got menu, back, home, and volume controls there. So if you have trouble reaching those controls as well, then you've got on-screen equivalents. It's a pretty crazy way of doing things, but it actually works surprisingly well. The gesture is quick, lets you hop into windowed mode to get to controls you might have had trouble reaching, and then pop back into full screen mode. As you can see, there's also a button to resize it, drag it around. Um, so if you really want it in the top corner, then you can do that. And while you're in this mode, you can continue to use your phone as usual. Uh, apps load just fine. You can go into multitasking through uh, long pressing the home button. Most regular Android apps will work just fine in this windowed mode, although some, uh, like the video editor here, will bump you back to uh, full screen mode. So that's windowed mode on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. It's one of those ideas that sounds ridiculous, but actually works surprisingly well in practice. It's not turned on by default though, so you will need to find it in the menus if you want to use it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our full review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 on androidcentral.com, and we'll see you next time.